Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into this video, if you do enjoy what you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want me to build any specific, um, uh, I can't say the word specific, um, just leave me a comment down below um, and I will get onto that. I'm actually in the middle of doing a kind of medium to large um, family home on a 20 by 30 lot in Newcrest for a simmer called Ethan O'Donnell. Um, he requested a build um, that was for like a family with boy children or male children. Um, as usually, I, I don't really tend to do houses for males because I just don't know what fits well for them. But he downloads all my builds, so I'm more than happy to do a request for him. And same for anybody else. Like if you want to build something, I will do my best for it with whatever packs you would like me to use with the ones that I've got. I did buy quite a few more during the sale. There's still some stuff I don't have, like cats and dogs, for example. I don't have that, but you know, I actually plan on buying more. I just got some birthday, not birthday money, what am I saying, some Christmas money through. So my plan is to use that to buy some more packs because I ha I did used to have them all. Um, I used to use my friend's um, gallery ID origin, whatever you want to call it. Um, she didn't play anymore, so she gave it all to me, but um, it all got lost. <laughs> I, we were not very careful and I didn't keep the codes and she does no longer have the codes so it just it is what it is and I was quite happy getting back down to the roots and using like base game only and then slowly building up the packs again but you know you've got to take advantage of those sales um, and I do miss like sometimes like a lot of the packs I don't use much from them like maybe just a window here or like a clutter item there I tend to do mostly with like the base game I feel sometimes i'll try and throw stuff in from the packs just so that i'm using them so mostly my builds are base game or base game with like one maybe two other packs at most i do try and keep them as um le least less packs as possible just so that more people can use them because again like me currently not everybody has all the packs um even with the build i'm doing to eat for ethan he he has all the packs but i'm trying to stick with that one like parenthood kids toddler stuff and i think i use a beam from seasons but i'll probably change that just so it doesn't go up with too many packs um so for this one i did my roofs i had little roof pieces in here it was on a facebook group that i saw how to do this and i cannot remember that simmer's name and i've like searched and searched through all the posts and i can't find them so if you know who they are or it's you please let me know so i can give you the credit you deserve because i would never have known how to do this or even thought to do it if it wasn't for you and um, so obviously credit is deserved where credit is due um so for this build i actually can't remember too much of what i did ah, i did lots of plants especially in the back garden i built this a few days ago and then i completely forgot about it i actually thought i'd already uploaded this one and it was only when i was just going through clearing out a bunch of stuff that i found that i hadn't even voiceovered it for it so that's what i'm doing now but how have you all been recently did you have a nice christmas and new year did everybody get you know what they wanted did anyone get new packs for christmas you know what packs did you get if you did um, do you spend time with family? Obviously, I know it's been a bit difficult with lockdown and a lot of people couldn't go out. But I know for some countries, there were rules that you know they could mix for like one day over Christmas. Um, so did you guys do that? You know, did you all enjoy it? I hope you did. For me, um, well, I, my family don't live. I live on an island and my family don't live with me. But my boyfriend and his family are all here. So I spent my time with them. Ooh, sorry, phone's beeping there. Um, I spent my time with him and his family. Um, Christmas Day. Do you know what, to be honest, I don't think I did much Christmas Day on the actual day. Because I remember I had a really bad he headache. But the next day, um, I felt a lot better. So we went over to then. I'm sure Christmas Day I didn't do much oh i did yes now i remember what i did i did i had a horrible i had two fake which brought me a headache so i spent christmas day in bed i went out for a meal with my friends in the evening and then after that we went to drop the presents off um so it was a bit of a late santa delivery but and um, we dropped the presents off like the nieces and the nephews but then over the next few days we saw them more and to be fair like obviously in, in spain like 25th isn't their main Christmas. They celebrate the Three Kings, which is the 6th, which was this Wednesday. Um, was that yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. So that's like the Spanish Christmas was yesterday. So it wasn't really too big a deal that I had kind of missed and had a headache on the main Christmas day, but that, that is my Christmas day. Um, you know, I'm older now and it's not a huge thing for me. You know, all my family and my little brothers and so on are back in England. Um, so I've just kind of more embraced the Spanish Christmas Day this year with the Three Kings. I believe we normally have camels um, 
that to you know the parade but obviously lots of parades got cancelled and everything this year or last year and i am praying carnival does not get cancelled this year though i'm pretty sure it will be because it will be very busy and lots of people and we can't have that at the moment because we can't have big gatherings or any gatherings really but you know it's still enjoyable and there's always something you can do like everyone's like oh you know christmas is cancelled christmas is cancelled and you know what? it's not cancelled the day is still there you just have to make different um plans with it you know instead of being with your family at christmas zoom call them it's not the same but it's not cancelled so you've just got to kind of have a positive attitude to it all um and you know make a new tradition or maybe not tradition you want to keep every year because you want to see your family next year hopefully like praying this is over by then guys like geez i cannot be dealing with this for another year though it's looking like we're gonna be isn't it um but anyway away from all that let's get back to the build so as you can see I've been using these plants quite a lot in my past few builds and I'm really thinking that they're cute and pretty and um, so here we're jumping to the inside I will do like a walk through in a few minutes I don't show much of me editing the inside oh and my screen seems to have frozen there oh no it's gone it's sorted and um, so I just did a little bit showing me doing the inside but mostly I just did a walk through because the video well, this isn't actually a long video, but this is after when I'd put all like, the clips in, it was like 30 minutes long. And I was like, oh, no, 30 minutes. People don't want to watch 30 minutes, especially not a new channel. So I kind of went through, cropped a load down. And I find I I personally prefer mixtures of watching lots of the build and then well, some of the build and some of the inside. So for this one, I've done more of the build and less of the inside, just the kind of cluttered areas. And then the next build, I'll probably do like less of the outside and more of the inside unless it's a small build i can get more done so this is the finished build guys what do you think i actually really liked how this build turned out i just i like the vibes it gives off like i could see this being like a grandma's cottage or something like it's very very cute if you guys have watched this far don't forget to like and subscribe share with your friends leave me a comment hit the notification bell but i really liked how this back garden turned out just the flowers and it just cozy this is definitely giving me like grandma cottage vibes i was unsure whether to put a little window on that bump out at the top but i left it without it i didn't want to overdo it so that's it you'll see the inside now with what i did um it's quite small but i did like this one this um again i forgot to put a bathroom and I had to put it in last minute so it's a little bit cramped over in that corner i'm um, coming through the front door back door front door front door's a little bit cramped for some reason i thought that was the back door but either way it's fine we've got a cute little area in the kitchen and then we've got a little dining table and i realized my chairs had disappeared guys as you've probably seen if you've seen my most of my videos or my last few videos items keep vanishing this time it was just chairs sometimes it's sinks chairs cabinets shelves all at once um, so I was lucky it was just the chairs this time. I feel like there's something missing near that front door, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, back door, sorry. I don't think I did put anything there in the end. Am I missing? Oh, yeah, there was no room for a sink in this bathroom. I did have to put it just, you know, you've got your living room sink straight as you come out the door. And um, I got my little TV on an extended shelf or an enlarged shelf. And this is the cute little back door area. Like, guys, how cute is this? I must say I'm very impressed with myself for this build. Like, they usually don't do much too much with the outdoors and I know there's only a little space but I, I I like this I really do like this one thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next build